Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So today's video, I wanted to share this style from Ronnie Hair. This wig is a bit different from the ones I've been showing recently. I wanted to kind of switch it up and show you guys a wig that's more stylish, one that you can wear if you just want to try out something different. Be sure to put it below in the description box. So be sure to check there and I will also put a discount code. So prior to this video, I've already washed this wig and I applied the even tinted lace in light warm beige to the inside of the cap. So there are no knots visible right now. Also the lace on this wig, it's a transparent whitish light color. So you may want to go ahead and use that even tinted lace if you are my complexion or darker. Now the texture of this hair is straight. I decided to go ahead and just style it as some curls just because I wanted to kind of see if it will hold the curl. I will tell you guys now that this texture does not hold a curl very well. Um, so if you are adding curls, make sure you apply some type of hairspray or something to help it lo um, last longer. Most straight textures are really hard to get to hold a curl for a long period of time anyway. So if you are looking to, you know, add curls, a body weight texture would be more suitable for that. Now, another tip I will give you for this texture to get the curl to hold is to use a wand curler instead of a curling iron. A lot of times when you use the wand curler, it gives a more tighter curl. So I believe that will work really well for this texture. So the hair color on this wig, as you can see, has that blonde highlight at the front, which I think make this wig very stylish. It's one of those wigs where if you just want to try out something different, if you want to be stylish, then this wig is definitely it. Also, if you wanted to, you can color that to whatever color you want it to be. You don't have to leave it blonde, but I really love the way this turned out. I'm using a bedhead masterpiece spray just to hold it. It didn't really hold that long. Like I said, try the wand curler. I think it would do better. So for installation today, I am going to just use the even wonder lace and I'm going to talk to you guys about this later on and give you some tips. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to hear those tips. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace before I do the installation today just because I wanted to switch it up a little bit and some of you asked me if I could. Um, but as you can see the lace is pretty much blending already. I have not even glued it down yet and it looks really good. Now I will say this, um, I should have maybe used a little bit of that light beige color mixed with the light brown because it is just a tad bit darker just because I'm not wearing any makeup at this point <laughs> so yeah but rather than that it's pretty good Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dry it with the dryer. My daughter came in and almost knocked down my whole lighting system. <laughs> but after a few minutes, um, I went on and removed that sleigh band and I switched to parting. Now the parting on this wig is a 13 by four. I thought it was a 13 by six, but it's actually a 13 by four. Um, so you can do a side part with the 13 by four, but you just wanna make sure you cover those wefts. So I switched the parting up. I don't know if you all have seen um, Eben's 24 hour edge tamer. It looks so familiar to my wax stick that I always use, except for the edge tamer comes in different scents. This one right here, I believe is mango, but look at the tubes, you guys. I, when I first seen this, I was like, it's for your edges. However, I was like, it looks like my wax stick that I use to, for my hair minus the smell because it smells amazing and it comes in so many different fruity smells so i went on and used it today for 
um, my parting just to straighten it out with the hot comb and it worked really good so if you want any duplicates to what I use I will put this in the description box the benefit of this one is that it smells really good compared to the original that I use it's not for the edges <laughs> so be sure to check the description box Now the parting on this wig is really tight. So if you want to, you can go back and you can tweeze out that parting or you can leave it as is. It's really up to you. I didn't do any tweezing to this wig. Um, I feel like this wig is one of those wigs that you don't really need to do a lot to. It's just to me, a stylish wig. Like you just wear this wig when you wanna switch up your color, you wanna do something different. Maybe you wanna match this wig with an outfit. You know, something like that. So I didn't do too much customization to it besides what you all have seen. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of baby hairs just to get rid of the separation of that lace in my forehead. I decided to go ahead and just kind of pull this section back just to give it a quick style. I really like the way it looked. It's something about blonde streaks that just make, I don't know, it just makes the hair look soft around the hairline. It makes it blend with your scalp and everything. So just pulling it back to me made it look more realistic a little bit. Um, so you guys can definitely drop me some comments and let me know what you think about this style Don't forget I will link it below in the description box if you want this style and I will also put a discount So have you ever had the moments where you're too lazy to get up to do something or get something? Yeah, this is it for me. I don't know why I'm using this big curler on this little bitty sideburn when I know I have a smaller curler. <laughs> don't try that, you guys. So this is what the end result looked like. You guys can drop me some comments. Let me know, do you like this color? So I decided to kind of give it a little bit of a style just to, I don't know. I just felt like it looked better like that on me. Um, now, I really like this. I The only thing I wish with this wig is that with the blonde streak going through it, instead of using black, maybe like a brown, not too light of a brown, but like a brown type of color I feel like would have suited it more however um, I really do like that the blonde streak makes it different it gives it just a little bit of something just to get make it a little stylish to me this is a stylish wig this is like a wig that you would wear if you just wanted to change it up a bit and put it with a cute outfit follow me on Instagram by the way um, so yeah the lace I really prefer kind of gluing it down with the lace attached just because I I don't know I didn't tie this down as long as I normally would but um a lot of you have been asking me if I can cut the lace and then glue it down another thing I want to talk about with the even wonder lace someone I seen a comment in my last video someone said that the even wonder lace makes the lace hard over time um I don't know I don't know I've never had that issue happen however I just wanted to give a tip if you are having that issue, you can kind of get it resolved. So anytime I go and wash my wigs, I always make sure to gently shampoo the hairline area of the wig and make sure to get all of the product off. This really does help because if you don't rinse the product correctly, even off your skin, you're gonna have residue left. And I don't know, I used to be the type of person where I wash my wig and I pay attention to the hair and I'm paying attention just to that and my lace <laughs> when I go to install my wig I would notice there was like areas that was either a little bit whitish or just a little bit like she said stiffish 
And the re resolution to that is to make sure you take a little bit of shampoo and just lightly rub that area to clean off all the residue because a lot of times we do use a lot of these sprays and they build up onto that lace. So it can make it like that. But I've never had any issue um, with this particular spray. Only when I was using like the got to be um, sprays and stuff, then my lace would get like that. But not with this one, not with this one or the red can. I haven't had that issue. It's gonna, everybody's gonna have a different experience. That's just how it is. But I just want to give you guys that tip just in case you're having that happen. <laughs> All right, so I will be sure to put this wig below in the description box. Be sure to check there. I'm gonna be coming at you guys back to back with videos this week. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you watched yesterday's video. It was something different. It wasn't a hair video. Um, if not, go ahead to my channel and check it out. And yeah, I'll see you all back in my next video. Mwah.